bit different today. We are going to play Lorcana for the first time, and we are doing the starter decks. We're going to do every starter deck against every starter deck. There's three, so probably three videos. We're going to start with the uh, red, the Emerald and Ruby deck, which I am playing, and the Sapphire and Steel deck that my wife is playing. This is our first game of Lorcana ever, so if we don't play it right or anything, we are learning and we'll learn this together. Also, I thought this would just be a fun thing to do. So, let's, you want to do high roll? Who goes first? Roll roll. one or two. Two. Okay, nine. Six. You going first then? Yep. So, you draw seven cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, shout out to Apex Gaming for having Lorcana in stock, but also... The owner was like, hey, if you're going to get sleeves for this game, we actually recommend clear sleeves because you use the inkwell. Uh, on the back of the card, these are your inkwells, your mana, basically. And you can see them with the clear. You the cheater. Clear can you see my cards in the I cannot. viewfinder? I cannot. Okay. Um, so I don't know what the mulligans are. So the mulligan rule is you can mulligan. And what you do is, is you pick the cards you don't want, you put them on the bottom, then you draw cards, and then you shuffle. Um, Without looking at what I have in hand, can the camera see my cards? I think it's what it says. No, they can just see, like, your hand. Like, they can't see your cards in your oh. hand. Unless okay. you want to fan out. I guess we could show our starting hands. I think I'm just going to keep my hand. because I don't mine. know, like, what you play and what you don't play. So this is what I got going on to start with. I gotta, gotta. Uh, I guess that one was a little tucked away. And that's the thing, is like, I guess we'll learn uh, what is keepable and what is not keepable. Uh, I guess, I don't know how to... I'm looking away, I'm looking away. <laughs> I don't know how to show it so that they can actually see what I got. <laughs> I don't know either. We would love any kind of like tips, tricks, or advice on Paper Magic. We also don't have an overhead setup, so this is kind of the best setup we've got currently. I honestly don't know if that was even on camera. <laughs> well, all right, so you get... I. I, you get to go first, right? Yes. So on the first person, you miss the draw step. And grab that rule book just so we can see how the turns break down. Uh, it's You can do it in any order, it said. I can play... It's ready, set, draw, and then main phase. Yeah. So I'm just going to... And then main can be done in any order. Yep. So Which I guess I didn't pay attention. I should have probably made sure I could have had ink. Oh, well, you can still mulligan. This is our first game, so if you don't have, like, ink, <clears throat> you can mulligan stuff. I guess I should read the cards. This is, like, the first time I was really, like, looking at cards, too, so. Other than the unboxing videos. Okay. So. Okay. So, I know what I'm going to do, then. Hmm. I'm going to play... Oh, I have to show you, right, before I play if, ink? If, if you play in ink, what we saw is you got to reveal the... What's up? What's up? Oh, I don't have my lights on. Hold on. Light's going to go on. And then kick them all over the place. Title as Pioneer, misspelled as... <laughs> all right. Thanks, Bull. I appreciate that. Let me fix that real quick. I type faster than I can process. Um, there, that should fix it. Thanks, Bull. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, buddy, we are playing some Tamir Pioneer. This was suggested by Old Raging Bull, but this list comes from us from Commander Crane, who has a pretty awesome channel. If you want to check out Commander Crane's stuff, there's links in the description to both the video he did on this deck and his channel. So show some support, some love to Commander Crane. And let's talk about what we got going on in this deck. First and foremost, this deck excites me because I am a simple folk who likes just turning creatures sideways. Um, and it lets us do that besides Questing Beast. But also it plays one of my favorite cards ever printed, and that is Savage Knuckle Bleed. This was a card that... Um, I can't remember how I got a copy of it. Maybe it was from a pack. Maybe it was from a starter deck. I don't remember. But T Kons of Tarkir, that block was very big. Uh, for us, like my friend group, when we was playing Magic, we loved that set. 
And Savage Knuckle Blade is easily my favorite card of the entire set. I love and adore this card. It is a 4-4 Ogre Warrior for Tamir 3 that uh, you can just do everything. You can tap a red and give it haste. You can tap 2 and a blue to return it to its owner's hand. You can tap 2 and a green to give it plus 2, plus 2 to the end of turn. Uh, you can only activate that once, but it's just a 4-4 four, four for 3 that you can give haste. I don't know. I just always liked this card. Maybe it's the artwork. Don't know. Always been a big fan of this. And so we are Tamiring Monstering in Pioneer. Still learning our ropes around Pioneer. Our mana base is just Tamir colors, which I'm curious to see, like, doing a three-color deck in this format, how well that will work out because we don't have fetch lands. But we'll see. Uh, for Bark Channel Pathway or Tide Channel Pathway, this can be played as either a green or blue source. One Boseju who endures. Two Botanicals, Botanical Sanctums. Two, uh, how many breeding pools? Four breeding pools. My bad. Three Copper Line Gorges. Four Cragway Path, Crag Crown Pathways or Timber Crown Pathway. One Forest. One Carpusian Forest. One Mountain. One Steam Vents, four Stomping Grounds, one Yavamaya Coast is our mana base. So I guess the good thing is is, Bl <laughs> is Blood Moon's not in this format, I guess. Um, wouldn't Magus of the Moon be in this format, or is it banned? I don't know. Three Stubborn Denial, which is really interesting. Counter target, non-creature spell, unless it pays one. So kind of like a spell... Uh, what's the card I'm thinking of? Spell Pierce, but if you have Ferocious, creature four or greater, which is like almost every creature we own, uh, it just counters that spell outright. We have four Mystics, four Elvish, four Elf Druids that tap for green mana. So we're kind of mana ramping. We also have two Sylvian Karyads, which is a zero three Hexproofer that you can tap to add one mana of any color. So we're playing 10 mana dorks, which just seems like a lot, but we have a big top end, right? We have four Bone Crusher Giant, which also has Stomp, just powerful card. Four Savage Knuckle Blades, which I'm just excited about. Four Tamir Ascendancies, which I think is really interesting. All of our creatures have haste. Whenever a creature with power four or greater enter the battlefield on your control, you can draw a card. Uh, so like anytime a cre we play a creature, we just get to draw pretty much. That isn't, you know, these dorks. So that's really exciting. One Questing Beast, love this card. For Glorybringer, I will say this. I'm pretty sure at that tournament, every game that I actually cast Glorybringer, I won with. <laughs> Glorybringer is just super powerful. We have four Elder Gargroths, which is just a really cool 6-6 six, six for five with Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. Whenever it attacks or blocks, you get to choose one of these. Create a 3-3 three, three Green Beast token. You gain three life. You draw a card. So it does, does quite a bit. <laughs> And then two Carnage Tyrants, because why the hell not? This card cannot be countered. It has Trample and Hexproof. It is a 7-6 big old dinosaur. I've loved this card since it was printed. So to see it in a list is really exciting. Uh, Sideboard-wise, we have three Tormod Crypts, three Render Volleys, uh, two Dampening Sphere, two Cinder Vines, two Decisive Denial, which is a card I've never really seen before. This is a choose one target creature control fights target creature you don't control. Counter target and non-creature spell unless this controller pays three. One Anger of the Gods. And two uh, Koloth's God of Destiny, which is the 4-5 indestructible god that has, as long as your devotion to red and green is less than seven, it isn't a creature at the beginning of your pre-combat phase. Exile target card from a graveyard. If you if it was a land card, you get to add mana. Otherwise, you gain two life. It deals two damage to opponent. So a lot of graveyard hate. <clears throat> also, if I sound stuffed up, if I... Um, maybe a breathing a little heavy today. That's because my sinuses are just destroying me today. I got a little bit of a sore throat. I don't know why, but just getting demolished here <laughs> from sinuses. Uh, if you want to check out the deck list, you can head over to Moxfield. It's there. And, uh, yeah, whatnot. Also, if you enjoyed the little bit of Lorcan at the beginning, which I know we didn't get him much of the game there, there is the full video of us trying out Lorcana on the channel, so you can check that out as well. Uh, I gotta be honest with y'all, I really, really like Lorcana. It's really, really good. Uh, this hand is very questionable.
because it is very slow. So I'm just going to keep it and hope we rip off the top. But this feels like it could be a let's bottom this kind of thing. I'm not going to lead the Land of War Elves out this. I'm trying to think in my head. What do we have that we could top deck into that would be worthwhile of playing Land of War Elves this turn? I don't think much, so I'm going to pass. This one we top deck, Tamir Ascendancy, or <laughs> um, the other thing. Knuckle Blade, right? All right, yeah, I don't feel too bad about this because then we can just double elf here and pass. I wonder if we might drop a couple elves for a couple more of the two drop. I don't know. I think the elves are probably better than the two drop, but I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> I know when I was playing, I, I felt like I had enough with the eight copies that I didn't really need four copies. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to shock this in. Green, green, green. I'm not going to play Glorybringer this turn because Glorybringer can have haste. So let's just play the 6-6. Six, six. Damn it. That was rude opponent. All right, we could probably quit drawing land at any time. Glorybringer? We're just doing the thing. We're just turning creatures sideways. You know what I mean? <laughs> God damn it, main deck languish. Land. See, this is where I'm like. This is where I kind of hate mana dorks, because they're just terrible top decks. You know, we have Knuckle Blade and all of our shit. That is really good. At least we're at five mana on deck here. But yeah, so we've played <clears throat> several rounds of Lorcana, me and my wife have, and I gotta be honest with you, the more I play it, the more I like it. I think Lorcana is actually pretty great. Uh, the combat is way deeper than what I thought at surface level, and I've just really been impressed with it, honestly. I'm afraid of playing this and it getting countered. I don't know what counter spells are in this format, but I feel like there's quite a few, right? Uh, it's gonna pass. How much were the starter decks? They were twenty bucks a piece at Apex Gaming in Codwell, Ohio, which is where I got mine at. Ocean Thief, Flash. If an opponent would draw a card, except for the first draw in a step, instead that player skips a draw. You draw a card. Wow, that's annoying. Um. Yeah, they were twenty bucks Apex Gaming, which I think they're MSRPing for like sixteen ninety nine or something like that. Okay, this is obnoxious, to say the least. Um, <clears throat> if you can't find any at your LGS, just uh, what? How they go underneath it? What a cipher. Is Cypher a card I don't fucking, like, recognize? Probably. Are we just never drawing a card again? I have no idea what's happening here. All I know is this is annoying. Um... Direct. Yeah, <clears throat> I we got all three of the starter decks. We played them against each other. There's gonna be lore kind of stuff coming out for a little while until we run out, um, obviously. But Jesus Christ, he's Jason Bourne. 
I don't even know what we play against this deck. Um, the thing is, I don't even know what's in this format, right? Probably gonna bring in these. Wouldn't hurt to bring in Rendering Volley, I guess. Here's all the lightning strikes. I have no idea what's happening. Yeah, Cinder Vines is definitely probably coming in too. Top deck glory bringer. Glory bringer, glory bringer. All right, I'm just gonna scoop. Um. All right. Well, Cinder Vines, the God comes in. Maybe the decisive denial. I'm gonna cut two mana dorks. Um. I don't feel like this is a matchup where Tamir Ascendancy is going to be any good just because they can stop us from drawing. Just try it like that. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Sideboarding is such a tricky thing to do. And this is not... Well, we don't have any red mana. Which is one thing I was afraid of happening with this. But I'm probably just going to keep it. Um, next week for Pioneer, though, I'm going to play the deck that I played in the tournament. I am working on the video that I, that I filmed for the Pioneer. I'm, like, at five minutes in. Uh, it's turning out great. I think this is turning out to be one of the better videos I've made before. Um, yeah. I will shock that in. I think it's turning out to be one of the better videos I've made. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's turning out pretty great, in my opinion. So I wanted to have it out this weekend. I just don't know if I'm going to get it done by this weekend. It's definitely taking a long time. Land? Nope. It's not getting land has been kind of shitty for us. No lie. No cap, as the kids would say. This elf might go all the way, though. <laughs> but yeah, so, Bull, if you're interested in um, in Lorcana, I don't know if you're much of a Disney fan, but if you are interested in Lorcana, um, I have definitely been a fan Yikes. Can't even do anything. Um, I'm probably just going to pitch. Unfortunately, as much as I love Savage Knuckleblade, actually, I'm probably just going to pitch one of the Gargaroths. Nah, as much as I love Savage Knuckleblade, I'm going to have to pitch it because I, I just don't have any red mana. Yeah, that's annoying. Is this three? Yep. Nope. You know, I'm something of a control deck myself. They want to kill this Elvish Mystic, fine. Whatever. That our set's going to be more annoying. Sure. Land. Red source land. Fuck. All right, well. <laughs> How this is going. Turn off auto yields. Target non-creature spells. Damn it. Hmm. 
Well, it's a big card. Hard for us to deal with. Hey, red mana. All right. Yep. Um. So I'm probably just gonna play the god. I don't really have much else to do. I guess I could play Bone Crusher Giant, but like, what's the point? You know. <clears throat> The problem is they probably just have a handful of of uh handful of uh removal spells. All right. Um Can't really do a whole lot because we just don't have mana. I forgot this format was basically play Sherwood and win. That's what it seems like. This card's fantastic. I want copies of it for me. Not even like necessarily for Pioneer. I just think this is a fantastic card. But yeah, so the Lorcana thing. Um, me and my wife have talked about wanting to like dive into a little bit more. We both really enjoy it. I don't think there's anything we draw that we win. I think we're just game over. Yep, all right. Well, when you get only three lands and like your first 56 cards is hard to play. Um, do I have buddies on? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, the Lorcon has been, been really cool. Um, we're thinking about doing some paper magic too in the future. Just got to figure out like how we want to do it and stuff. So I'm excited to venture a little bit. Oh, game one went bad, very bad for us. So, <laughs> yikes. All right, I'll keep this. I'm going to bottom one land. <laughs> Probably the one of the crag crown pathways. Forest into Utopia Sprawl. No, into Land War Elves themselves. They got the better elf on the shelf. Oh, we top decked it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll raise you an elf, I guess. My wife won't play Lorcana just because she's not into non-classic card games, 52 card deck games. Gotcha. My wife likes magic too. Like she plays magic too, not as like much as I do, but she does like magic. Oh, is this just the fucking mono green Nykthos deck? I don't think there's any way we beat that deck. Can try to slow him down a little bit. But yeah, I don't think we beat this deck. This Nykthos deck just seems absolutely absurd. We do have Dampening Spear in the side, though. So, I mean, there's that. Cinder Vines is decent, too. Anger, one Anger of the Gods. So, yeah, I mean, we have cards, I guess. Oath of Nyssa, sure.
They find the Nykthos. That's super annoying. What the fuck is this? Enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a permanent card from among them, put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom library in any order. And it becomes a dinosaur creature. I really don't like these battle cards. I think these battle cards are really stupid. <laughs> I, I'm glad, like, uh, this is like the only format I've ever seen and played in. I don't watch any of standards. So I don't know how they are in standard, but I really think these battle cards are dumb. And they just get a 4-3? Sure. Whatever. Um, well, not a whole lot I can do other than just take 8 next turn. Pretty much. So, let's play the Sylvian Caryad. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this deck so far. <laughs> I just feel like I don't have any power. They have like a million mana too. Yeah, so Lorcana really been liking it a lot. <clears throat> curious to see if they make like an official like online version of it don't know if I'd play it more or not if it was online but had a great time past couple of days playing with my wife there's a four drop battle card you find two basic lands put them on the field that's kind of cool Yeesh. ah this is bullshit This whole like no attack with the old growth, so I can block with Karn, I guess. I'm gonna glory bring exert on the this thing. And kill it. Although I want a Tamir Ascendancy, I just I can't this turn. Yeah, let's get rid of this stupid Regisaur. What's up, Matt? Tell me right now if Stex is playing... It is playing Savage Nux. You're 100% right. That's the title. Finally playing one of my favorite magic cards, which is Savage Nux. It's not been going well. We've been getting absolutely our ass handed to us. Like, I don't, I don't even feel like we're even so far in a realm of being remotely competitive, but it is definitely a pet card for me, too. It's probably not viable to go three-color unless we run some kind of option consider. I want to go blue sources and up the cantrips, find things we need. True. Tireless Tractor, right? Up Master and Nux, my babies. I love Tireless Tracker too. I'm a big fan of Tireless Tracker for sure. I think Tireless Tracker is awesome. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Tireless Tracker too. I played it in a 5k with Sultai Shadow with two trackers in my deck. Oh, that's sweet. How did you end up doing?
Another pet card from that same block with Tireless Tracker for me is uh, Grim Flayer. Grim Flayer. I like Grim Flayer, Flayer a lot too. Should we jam Tracker here? I think so. Maybe. Lost my winning in. Ah, close. Cracked a treasure in response to Jace and stubbed Jace was ferocious. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so this this ship is going to be a problem for us. This console flagship is going to be super obnoxious. <laughs> Add green. I mean, blue. Tamir Ascendancy. We can't kill this old growth troll, so I'm just going to play not yet. Um, they have lethal next turn. If I don't hold this troll back, I guess they have lethal anyway. Well, not quite lethal. Very close to lethal though. Huntmaster of the Fells. Yeah, I think he's talking about Huntmaster of the Fells. That card's sweet. I guess if they have a creature they can crew the skyship with, we're dead. Kind of. We have a lot of bone crushers. We do have the glory bringer. I guess like we're not entirely out of this, but we're pretty damn close. Yep. Crew, they can attack for 10. <laughs> they just get another Nyxdos anyway. Jesus Christ. This deck's just easy mode. Alright, they just got us with the... Activate the layer Hydra and I'll just scoop. Got back into modern 5-color pile. Cool stuff package comes in today. And CK package gets in tomorrow, then off to FNM to make people sad. <laughs> nice. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it works out for you. Um, I've been big sad so far. Jesus Christ. Uh, Anger of the Gods probably just doesn't do anything, right? I don't know. Dampening Sphere we're definitely bringing in. Cinder vines, I don't think matters all that much. Play testing against my 11 year old, and he was miserable. Why would you want to play this deck, Dad? It's so annoying to play against. <laughs> Get him, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess decisive denial is probably okay too. And I'm going to trim. Probably the Bone Crusher Giants. Two of them and two Land War Elves is what I'm going to trim. This is the game after he nagged Karn and got Sundering Titan and blew up my lands. Yeah, I, mean, I guess he had it coming, right? No dad's going to have to teach you a lesson, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep this because we have our lands, but I don't think so. Probably need a couple more runs of this version to really know if it's good or bad. When we think so, we got to lower the curve and find more ways to draw what we need. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about Pioneer to make any kind of judge. I shouldn't be making judgments in general, but unless it's 8-rack. But in terms of, or Dredge, but in terms of uh, this Pioneer, I don't know enough about it, but it does not feel good. 
it actually feels weaker than the precon that I built, which is crazy. Not that it, like Nag on Commander Crane's deck, I'm sure he's a ten times a million better with it than me. Uh, I'm gonna shock this bad boy in because I'm going to stomp your dork. Cat for green, play the other Mystic, so we can next turn play the Gargaroth. Yeah, so I'm not gonna like. I don't want to like bad talk, but I just I don't feel like we're two games in, and I just feel like we've done nothing. <clears throat> I don't feel like we've been remotely competitive, which is not a great feeling to have. Quit playing the fucking elves. Uh, I guess we'll just bring in the glory. I'm going to exert all over this elf here. Oh yeah, <laughs> kill the dork. You bolt the bird, right? Always bolt the bird. So, next turn we'll just Gargaroth. I'll say kill our two little mystics. But as long as at least one of them live, which doesn't seem like impossible, you know, there's that stupid thing. It's a forest <laughs> for another one. Stop it. We found one for ourselves. Let's play our 6-6. Six, six. Now this is probably where this will go sideways for, sideways for us. We're empty-handed. We've played cards. You know. Uh, if we get to attack with this Elder Gargaroth, I don't know if I want to create a beast token or draw a card. I haven't decided. But, <clears throat> but yeah, so we're venturing more into Pioneer. I'm trying to find a deck that I like. Uh, I had a good time with my pre-con <laughs> at the tournament. I got to see a lot of cool decks. I uh, was not impressed with Grease Fang the last time around, last week. This deck fills more up my alley, but I I just feel really underwhelmed. I guess overwhelmed, maybe, is the right word. What is this thing? Yep. Pretty good. I did find a Nixos. They have a million and a half. It also has reach, so it kills our glory bringer, which is pretty obnoxious. Um but or would you buy? Buy what? This deck? Probably not. Living in Scam or Tron. In modern, uh, I would lean toward Living in or Tron. Uh, but I have I guess I don't have a ton of scam, but I have a I have a good chunk of scam already. So I could just lean into scam because I would just need to get Furies and Ragavans pretty much, and then I have all of Scam. So I don't know. It'd be difficult. I guess I don't have the Kiki Jiki uh saga token, saga token thing. Welcome to Pioneer. I guess so. Um, it's gonna turn up the the heat on them a little bit. Don't think it matters very much, but that's ten, fourteen damage. They just block the Glory Bringer though.
Do they do? I feel like this deck should be playing Fable anyways. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm debating if I want to draw a card or create a beast token. I feel like we should draw. I think we need to find more stuff. Yeah, like the living. I I like Living End. Ooh, piece of candy. I like Living End. I'm a big fan of Living End. Um, I like. I guess we'll just see what happens. Can our opponent just go infinite next turn? Probably. Um, I'm a big fan of Living End. I think it's a really fun deck. I like graveyard strategies. So obviously, I like Living End. I've thought about building it for a while. Uh, I like Tron, the mono green Tron or Eldrazi Tron. I'm a fan of both. I like Eldrazi Tron more, but I think mono green is better. And then, like I said, Scam. I'm not a big fan of Scam. I think how it plays is kind of bullshit. But also, you know, I should have exhorted the Glorybringer because then if they would have blocked Glorybringer, it would have... Yeah, that was a misplay. I should have exerted the Glorybringer on the Cavalier because it would have killed the Cavalier if they blocked. So that was a misplay on my end. Um, But if we get to go next turn, this Knuckle Blade is going to do big boy things. <clears throat> but scam because I would... I guess the cards I'd have to buy for would be expensive. I guess I'd have to see the pricing, but I don't like... Personally, I, I think the scam package should be banned, but uh, it's not style magic, I think, is very fair. But I did run it in, um, yup, this fucking thing. I did run it in, I guess we can hope they kind of whiff on it a little bit. Um... I did run an 8-rack, so I still feel like the 8-rack scam package is pretty solid. I don't know. All three are good choices. Didn't hit me to hit the microphone. I'd probably honestly just lean into Tron at the end of the day. That's probably what I'd lean into is Tron. Sorry if I took a while, Matt, but <laughs> that's, uh, that's where I'm at. David... What would be a Pioneer deck I should play? Where should I be at in Pioneer? That isn't this mono green deck. I'm not playing this mono green deck. Yeah, no worries, Matt. Um, they're at six. Play you. Three. The problem is I got blockers for days. Westing Beast has to be blocked by one of these two. Probably just blocks with Old Growth Troll. It comes back as an enchantment, so it doesn't really matter. They lose it. This blocks Beast. These two block these two. Why don't you get Trample? You know? Rakdos? <laughs> Maybe. Um, hmm. Well, I'm here to play Knuckle Blade. I'm going to play Knuckle Blade, damn it. Okay, so the question is this. Okay, so there's a Gruel or Tarka deck. If you like big monsters and ramp, I do. But that's not been a boon for me here recently. <laughs> Nuck if you buck. Right. Um. So, okay, I'm just thinking. If I attack here, blocks. Oh, that has trample though, right? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll leave it back in case we draw a four drop. But I think with this, I think with this, I'm going to draw a card. What's up, Darius? Knuckle blade running. We finally got to play knuckle blade. So, um, that's what we're doing. I thought about going wide here. That's a card. I create a 3-3, three, three, just go wide, you know? So that's where that... Okay. That's interesting. Okay. All right, so they saw the knuckle blade line. Then they're gonna go to two here, but they're gonna lose a lot of stuff. We only lose questing beast, but the old growth troll does come back as an enchantment that still has three CMC for devotion. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm gonna sign this way because that cavalier is gonna die. Damn, should have swung out. Yeah, I guess I should have, right? Oh, that's annoying. That Cavalier. Pelucranos has reach, but they do pick Pelucranos back up. What does this thing do? Can't transform it unless he wants to die. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are we dead next turn? Probably. Yeah, but they they picked Pelucranos back up, so they kind of lost it, but kind of not. I guess it depends if they can stop us going wide out, you know? Like, they can play this. This thing does not have reach, though. But they can activate both of these and make ginormous creatures. Yeah, this card's really good. Yeah, if we would have swung out, we would have had lethal, but we didn't. And because of that, you know, we're probably going to lose the game. We could just top deck another haste, like uh, Questing Beast or something. Another Knuckle Blade would help, I guess. I don't know. Count that as a win, right? <laughs> I <laughs> could. Through pain comes discipline, yeah. I don't mind. I guess I do kind of mind a little bit, but it doesn't matter that much Like if I make misplays because it's all about learning, I guess, right? I hate when I play bad, but if I can at least see the mess-ups I make. My problem is I don't think very like through turns. I just kind of think very like superficial. And I also gamble way too much. I have too much of like a of a well let's see what happens attitude with this game. Even at like when I'm trying to like play at a higher level, <laughs> I'm like, you know what, let's see what happens. Okay, that's interesting. Karn? Sure. Get console, blow up bone crusher, maybe?
Cityscape Leveler. I don't even remember what this thing does. Destroy up to one target non-land permanent. Oh, uh, we couldn't bounce Knuckle Blade back to our hand. We didn't have enough blue mana. An 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, okay. Do we just win? Glorybringer? What's up, Jason? Um, they're going to exert on the blue chronos. It's just game, right? Okay, cool. We got there. We took down a game from the Nixos deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. We don't really have a whole lot to like really consider bringing in other than just the dampening sphere and the decisive denials. So I'm just gonna run it back. What we do here is go back. Oh, tired. Anybody curious or <clears throat> would want to hang out tomorrow? Thank you, Matt. I am super strong uh <laughs> anybody curious or want to hang out tomorrow i will be streaming on twitch in the morning curating and cataloging my movie collection if you want to come hang out there's a link in the description to my twitch you can follow me there turn on bell notifications or the notifications there to be notified anytime i do go live on twitch uh and i will be streaming tomorrow popper Merkwood bats combo the bat excuse me the bat blade combo if you will uh, tomorrow with Moist Moose, the creator of the deck. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's going to be really fun. This hand is not the best. Hey, Matt, thanks so much for following. I think that was on Twitch. Because uh, I think the Twitch notifications are turned on. So thank you so much. Um, oh, my God. Just following on Twitch. Thank you. Uh, I use a lot of the same screen with OBS, so I just kind of leave notifications for everything turned on. In my opinion, I think we should cut Glorybringer for one more Questing Beast, and then Gargaroth return for the Wildspeaker? Return of the Wildspeaker? I don't know what that one is. I think we got a mulligan this. I think it's too slow. PG return of the Wildspeaker. So, just to let everybody know... Ooh, this is interesting. I like the artwork anyway. Uh, tap for draw... Choose one. Draw cards equal to the greatest power of non-human creatures. Control creatures. You control get plus three, plus three. That's kind of interesting. It's like a fun little gotcha card. We need more eight rack. Uh, so, next week... Yikes. This hand. Uh, mulligan this. Two... I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna bottom glory bringer and probably the other dampening sphere. And then hope we top deck a land so we can get dampening sphere out. Uh next week I'm gonna play eight rack. I'm gonna play Trade Natilli's eight rack that he topped eight the Apex tournament with. Uh so it'd be a pretty old school, uh traditional. You have to reveal it. Okay, cool. Blue Chronos. Yikes. Uh, so it would be a pretty cool, like, traditional smallpox build. So, looking forward to that. Oh, top deck of land, just like we planned it. Um, so looking forward to that. What, the list? Uh, I don't have the list currently on me. Let me pull it up real quick. Uh, Apex Gaming... That's not it. Mm. 
Uh, I'm having a hard time finding it. I know where I can find it real quick, though. There it is. Alright, this is the list that he topped eight with. Yeah, I know. I know. Yell at me all you want. Um... Play you dampening sphere pass. We're just gonna hold up stubborn denial. So that's the list. That's uh, Trey Natali's list. Um, and I'm probably gonna play it. Once some Lorian revealed in the stack, we have seven elves and one carry ad. We might draw into. It feels bad drawing them into late game. True. Oh, there's that Pelucranos. We have a hard way to deal with this card. Like, it's bigger. Well, that's. I guess that's bigger, right? Carryad. And we just got to top deck one more land. Yeah, let's top deck a land. Let's get our 7-6 on the field. Um, yikes. Oh, wait. Got him. <laughs> Stubbed. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's Trey Natelli's list. I wanted to, I've wanted to run it for a little while. I just haven't had time. To get to it. So next week I'm making time. We're gonna play eight rack again next week and run his list. So let's top deck a land. Preferably. Uh it's kind of a land, I guess. The problem is we didn't mold a five. But anyway, yeah, so the streams that I do on Twitch, uh, I'm doing probably some non-Magic-related games on there. I haven't fully decided yet. But uh, the one thing I am doing weekly on Thursdays is curating and cataloging my movie collection. So basically what I do is I just sit here, go through the movies that are behind me on the shelves and everything, put them into a Google Docs, and then decide if I'm basically keeping it or not. Like, can I get rid of this? Can I get rid of this to, you know, do this and, you know, stuff like that? Can I downsize some of this movie collection? Um, it's arguable that the Elder Gargaroth is better here than the Carnage Tyrant, and I think that is actually accurate. It blocks about the same, but it also does other things. So, let's stick the Gargaroth here. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing on Twitch once a week, and then uploading it to my movie channel, which there's links in the description if you're inter interested in the stuff I do over there. Um, they get uploaded a week behind. Mm, this does have reach. Ball pocket egg shroud is how it's meant to be. That is true, Jason. But it's not the way it has been. Ah. Well, we got a top deck of land to play our Tyrant. Maybe we should have played Tyrant then. Our opponent's down to four minutes on clock, by the way. I didn't realize this game's been going that long. I actually don't have a very good reason to attack yet with uh, the Gargaroth. Because they just double block it. 
and the way you don't trade very well. I do think this Dampening Sphere is really shutting them down. Dampening Sphere is one of my favorite sideboard cards. <laughs> Just period. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed the vlog of the uh, modern tournament. It was a lot of fun to make. I definitely want to do more stuff like that. And the video I made of running the Challenger deck through the Pioneer list is coming soon so hopefully you enjoy that that's a legendary creature i'm not sure what the plan there is yeah i'm not sure what was going on there uh skyship sovereign's coming in sure Sure. I'm going to block, draw a card, trade here. Not the big creature I was hoping we would top deck. To me, Ascendancy. going to pass here my brother you need to come to Canada someday I would like to go to Canada one day I really want to go to Toronto International Film Festival I think it would be a lot of fun yikes They probably have something to blow this, uh, yeah. Hey, might. Uh-huh. To blow up this dampening sphere. Or Tamir Ascendancy, I guess. They can't cast it this turn because of dampening sphere, though. Which is hilarious. Questing Beast, draw a card. Yep. Oh, the Nux. Oh, shucks the Nux. Um... Have you ever heard of the Calgary Stampede or West of Eddington Mall? I have not. What do I want to do here? Okay. They just leave. I'll take it. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. As a kid, I was always a fan for some reason or another of the video game adaptations or tie-ins of movies. While I know licensed games are for the most part considered to be majority bad, for me I loved watching the movies and then renting the games afterwards as a kid. Growing up, I thought it'd be fun to examine some of these counterparts a little bit more and see how the game holds up to the film itself. I figured I'd start this series off with one of my personal childhood favorites, Monsters, Inc. and its counterpart, Monsters, Inc. Screen Team for the PlayStation 1. As a kid, I sunk many hours into Screen Team, even though I never got very far. I still have fond memories of playing it as a kid. As for the movie, I watched the VHS a bunch of times as a kid, and I've even seen it multiple times as an adult as well. I guess I should probably give a spoiler warning for both the movie and the game. A quite good. Attack warning. Attack warning. Attack warning. Attack warning. Is it for real? Attack warning for bloody real. Is it all right, I'm back. I've been playing three surgical extraction on the side with a lot of success. Maybe something to consider for eight rack. Yeah, I've played surgical in it before. I, 
think I actually sold off my surgical, so I don't think I have any more surgical extract extractions and paper. Um, it's definitely pretty good. They're like two of the main attractions of my Providence. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, I've not heard of uh, heard of those. But then again, I don't know a ton about like Canada outside of like Poutine, Monty's, and the Toronto International Film Festival. You know, and half of the country speaks French. That's about as much as I know. And Cooper the Red's from there. And YMS, your movie sucks, is from there too. I would like to go though. I would like to travel more. Blue sky. Yeah, I'll take that win over uh they want to scoop it up and leave. I'll take that over the the green the green deck. Uh nope. I think we got a mulligan this. Uh oh we don't have a red source. Oh oh god. Uh I'm gonna keep this. Probably just bottom both of these. I don't know. Maybe you never bottom Tamir Ascendancy, but like, yikes. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, nowhere near half, just one of the 11 prominences dominance francophone. I don't know what that means. Uh, I can't get away from this card, can I? What's the chance this Elvish Mystic lives? Zero percent? Means French speaking? Oh, gotcha. Did not flip, though. I'm not. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to block. Another one? Yikes. Maybe I should have. And I guess there's not lightning bolt in this format, right? I guess there is that to consider. Boseju. Not the most exciting card. I'm gonna stomp one of these dudes. Fatal Poosh. Well, <laughs> I think my poor little mystic's going to meet its end here. All right. What is this thing? Tax, you may. It's pretty good. I got a whole lot to do here, so. Okay, take three in the air. Obviously, this Bone Crusher Giant's not going to attack into this Dread Horde. There's like no way. In hell, the glory bringer lives. You know? They're definitely going to like dreadboard or something. Oh, wrong thing. I want to see our sideboard here. I definitely think Anger of the Gods probably come in. Maybe Render Volley. We got a discard too. Um. No, they return. Okay, no, I see what they're doing. Uh, the god comes in. Probably going to. Yeah, the god comes in. Ang anger of the gods comes in. Maybe decisive denial. I don't know.
Terminate is what I'm thinking of. I don't think Terminate's in this format. I think it's just Dreadbore. Ooh. All right, play the Boseju. I hate to exert, but I'm going to have to. What's up, Lotus? No worries. We are one and one, I guess. We were in a sketchy game against Mono Green, and they scooped it up toward the end. I think they're going to time themselves, though, before they won. But we weren't in, like, a great spot to win. So, but we did take a game from them in the middle game, so, like, that's cool, you know? treasure cruise that blows my mind that this is legal <laughs> blows my mind all right let's top deck something to kill this other insectile apparition here to me your ascendancy Trudge Cruise is legal. I might hop on that Pioneer train. It is legal in this format. When I was playing the tournament, round one, the dude played Treasure Cruise, and I literally said, that's legal? <laughs> I was like, that's banned in every format. Cheryl the Apocalypse. All right, we just died it. All right, well, fuck. Uh, yeah, Anger of the Gods comes in, the God comes in, and eh, that's probably about it. I'm going to trim two Ascendancies and one Dork. There's an argument for Decisive Denial, but I don't think it's worth it. Maybe we just trim the other two Ascendancies, I don't know. I uh, would like to go first. I think we mulligan this. <laughs> oh boy. This was stomping around, I'd keep it, but otherwise. This mana base is horrendous. Um This is a super slow hand. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna bottom probably Glory Bringer. Which sounds weird to say out loud, but kind of the room we're in, I guess. Breeding pool pass. We're gonna be very slow. They did shock and water grave, which makes me think that they have a fatal push or opt. I guess they could have opt. I guess we could have stubborn denied it, right? What is this? Enter the battlefield, create a blood token, sacrifice. Your creature gets negative X, negative it's twice the number of blood tokens. Okay. Sure. Interesting. Uh, Bone Crusher. Kind of cool. Gonna stomp that thing now. Is the exile from Anger of the Gods better than cycling from Sweltering Sun? Probably. I'm not 100% honest. Like, I don't 100% know. I am gonna stubborn denial this. If you want that, you're gonna have to pay for it. But probably, I would say, more than likely. Ew, Nux. Yeah, I will pay too. Because I'm going to... Nope.
And I'm going to give this bad boy haste. When in doubt, knock it out. You know what I mean? Cycling the blood token. I'm trying to do the thing. We need top deck a land. We need top deck two lands. Preferably in a row. Just so we can play out these two dorks. Okay. I'm just going to attack with Knuckle Blade. I'm actually debating if we want to even do anything or if we just want to keep playing Knuckle Blade because we can just return Knuckle Blade to our hand. Like, you know what I mean? Elder Girl, Elder Girl is a scary card. It is. Like, do we play Tamir Ascendancy? And then they just like destroy our Savage Knuckle Blade, or do we just keep up the blue so we can just bounce Savage Knuckle Blade to hand? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna hold. They're saying Knuckle Blade hold up bounce. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we can just replay it with haste. They're down a card. I mean, if they play the Sherald, Sherald Zedict, or I mean, whatever that card is, that's annoying, but. It's not like the end of the world. We just play probably just Tamir Ascendancy. I don't know, probably not. Ooh, Boom Crusher. I actually don't like a Timur Ascendancy now that I think about it because of the what's its face? Blue. I'm gonna cast Bone Crusher Giant. And pass here. Sure. Tamir Ascendancy is too slow and easily removed. We should just opt in its place. I think Tamir Ascendancy is fine if you're not playing against Sherald. And I guess that's something I should have thought about is removing it for the decisive denial. I would say. Wish Knuckle Blade had it in a battlefield effect of some kind, right? They're going to Thought Seize us. We have a hell of a hand. If I was them, I'd probably just take Knuckle Blade. But they could just have a really good interaction still in their hand. I mean, they treasure crews, so I can't imagine they don't have like good cards. You know what I mean? Oh, they took the Nux. Well, it makes me think maybe they don't have that great of cards in hand. Um, I wish we would have top tech the land there. Another thought sees, sure. I'd probably okay. You have Sherald. Sherald. You know what I mean? God damn. Come on, land. Land, 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 land. Uh, it's kind of land, I guess. 
Yeah, Shield the four five. That every time you draw, you lose two life and they gain two life. Maybe one of two of copies max. Yeah, but I mean, they've drawn half their deck almost. Like they got to be close to finding one. Sure. That's not that big of a deal. Come on, don't kill my land of war elves. I'm talking about Tamir Ascendancy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not the best. They're down to two life. We could just top deck. They have Sherald here. No. Top deck Stomp. Okay. Uh, no. Green, green. Gargaroth. Counterspell. Lame. <laughs> Better than Nora stomping all ETB effects? Maybe. The Dreadhorn Arcanist. Should thought sees me, dude. <laughs> Other counter spell? Nope. Okay, cool. I want stuck the board. And we have the Stubborn Denial. Ah, oh, you suck. All right, let's top deck. <laughs> Excuse me. Stomp. <laughs> like, let's do it again. Scoops. <laughs> That'd be nice. Probably going to kill my shit, though. All right, they're digging for a kill shot. God damn. What does this thing do? All right, you got us. Do one more. Do one more. Yeah, I'll keep this. This is like one of our best looking hands so far. Is burn in this format? Not really. What is this? What is this? Whenever a creature you control becomes target of a spell, target opponent gets a poison counter. Okay. Yeah, I'll pay two life. Tamir Ascendancy. Next turn we can Knuckle Blade. What is this? Okay. This is interesting. This is an interesting development from our opponent. Two, 
two, three. Nux. Draw card. Land. Back you for four. Favorite Lacrana color so far. Uh, I'm a big fan. I like the blue and uh, steel and no sapphire and amethyst are the two I like a lot so far. I like the mana ramp ish aspect ink ramp of uh, sapphire, and then I like uh, amethyst's like recursion. Burn is in every format when I show up, right? It's kind of what's going on here. What is this thing? Knuckle blade head trample. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five mana next turn. Yikes. I'm looking at the Ruby Amethyst deck and Steel Emerald Mill deck. I haven't like looked at like actual constructed constructed lists yet to see what people are doing. I wanted to play through the I wanted to play through the three games. Um I wanted to play through the three games on with the starter decks me and my wife were playing before I like started looking at like what people are doing with stuff, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm not gonna block here because I'm pretty sure we're just dead anyway. Yep, we don't have a way to, like, play extra creatures. Uh, bring in Anger of the Gods. Bring in Decisive Denial. Probably just bring in Render Volley, too. Going out to Mirror Ascendancy. Gonna go out. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut the Stubborn Denials, honestly. I'll leave in one denial. Should I brought in the killer yard? Is our yard relevant? Same with me and eight rack, right? I've never seen this deck, so I don't know. I'm just going off of base face value. I'll keep this. Uh Copperline Gorge. Mystic Pass. What's this thing do? Uh, Jaw here got the one one ring. Yeah, Post Malone got it. Even when they're doing, even when actually doing the Tamir Sinisi thing, it wasn't fast enough. Jeff Pogan had build. He made in modern, but I feel like we could do this Pioneer with the right cards. IDK. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like Tamir Sinisi the more I've played it. It's been very underwhelming, to say the least, so far. Double strike? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad he got it instead of someone just looking to make money on magic. Oh, I don't really care who got it. I just thought it was fun when it finally found. I like the, the whole chase around it was a fun idea. You know what I mean? I don't really care who who got it, you know? Um, 
think I'm just going to attack here. Uh, sure, I'll pay two life. I guess I could have done this a little bit differently. Right? Yeah, I'm not going to play the other Knuckle Blade. I think I'm just going to hold it up. Let's leave up Decisive Denial, just in case. Yeah, I'd rather just see a card like that in his collector's hands than in an auction house every four weeks, right? And just keep being sold over and over and over again. Uh, there's Battlefield, XL Target Apartment. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely annoying. Okay. Um, I hate we have to do this. We have to do this. My wife generally start with saying, "This is called a trainer." <laughs> Can't give it's another creature, right? Okay. Now, in response. Sage you it. We get our knuckle blade back. I tapped this wrong. I could have gave this knuckle blade haste. Oh well. Yeah, I tapped that wrong. I could have gave that knuckle blade haste. Shoot. They have another one? That's annoying. They have another one of these too? Okay. Jawbone Duelist? Sure. And one of these. Alright. Um... Gonna attack here. Yeah, I'm going to play the carry ad. Carry ad blocks pretty well. I was wondering as an intermediate magic player if I could do well playing Pokemon. It's so much more simple. Maybe. Uh, the little bit I played a Pokemon I like. I think it's fun. I like Lorcana better than Pokemon though, personally. But that's just me. Uh, to turn it can't be blocked by creatures. Okay, and that is a legendary creature. Okay, cool. I was worried that was like going to be like a giver ruin situation. So, this creature can't block. Block here.
Okay. Another one of those things? Fucking quit. We could quit drawing land at any time. I'm gonna leave this knuckle blade back. The block. Okay. It's a big card. I like uh, the Nintendo 3S games, but never got into the TCG because Magic was more available and seemed more enjoyable. Uh, I've only played a handful of... Ooh, that's a good draw. I've only played a handful I'm just going to pass here. I've only played a handful of uh, Pokemon. Like, me and my wife both bought Starter Decks, played against each other, and I played a little bit of the online game, and I enjoyed it. Like, I liked it. I think it's fun. But I just never got into it. None of my friends are really interested in it. There's not really, like, viable to go to an LGS or try to play it or anything, so I just never really got into it. But the little bit I did play, it is fun. I, I like Magic more than it like by quite a bit all right so this is definitely annoying this is a five five all right so gotta go bro thanks for the stream yeah bull thanks for hanging out appreciate it then we'll watch uh nikachu the merfolk master I've seen some of his videos, but I don't watch him very often. Um, block here, block here, block here, block here. Four. Block here. Create a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to create a 3-3 three, three instead of drawing because a 3-3 three, three is going to be big for them to block. I think. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is the best open world game of all time, in my opinion. I've not played it yet. I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet either. So I have Breath of the Wild. I just have not played it yet. Uh, as long as you control the ocean. Oh, yeah, David, if you're still in here, is their graveyard relevant? Yeah, TCG is fun. I've tried it once, but <clears throat> tried it once, but online version. The I will say the Poke the thing that's nice about the Pokemon card game online is that it's free to play online. And if you buy any paper products, you get um, you get a code that gives you that paper product in the, on the online app, but I don't understand. Like, I didn't venture into it enough to be like, "Yeah, this is how I can buy cards and build the deck I want to build." Like, I don't know how you do that with their card game online. I wish Magic would do it. I wish they would too. I don't know why they don't. I don't know why they don't put a QR. I, they kind of do it with Arena a little bit, but like. For Magic Online, like you should be able to one for one if you buy a paper product, you should be able to. That isn't like a second hand, like loose. Like you should be able to get a code that gives you it for online too. There's no reason they don't do it other than they want more money. Um. I'll trade out the one separate in aisle for the other one. With very specific products they do yeah that's what i'm saying like if i buy a pack of card if i buy a pack of pokemon cards this is probably not keepable with only one mana and no red sources 
Um, it's also slow. This is also probably not very good. This is mildly better. I'm gonna bottom probably this land and the basic. Um, <clears throat> but like with Pokemon, if you buy a pack of if you buy a pack of um, Pokemon cards, you get a code that gets you an online pack of cards. I don't know why Magic can't do the same thing. You know what I mean? charge through okay that's kind of interesting yeah I know what you're saying yeah yup <laughs> yup um, I'm going to just play this questing beast out Yeah, Questing Beast seems good. I like Questing Beast a lot. I think this card's super good. I think Beast is better than Knuckle Blade. Uh, probably. Has more text, right? Uh, I don't know. Might not have more text. That was rude. Questing Beast is one of those cards like, do you have removal for it? Because you should. <laughs> you know? Um, shock you in one, two, three, four, five. I wish Terra was in the format. Terra is in this format, ain't he? Talarian Terror? Isn't that in this format? Isn't it a Dominaria card? Which would be in this format. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can pump Knuckle Blade if we shock this in. One, two, nope. One, two, three. Instead of drawing, I'm just going to create beast tokens. I think if we have a steady stream of blockers, there's not a lot they can do to us. Looked at the card pool, it didn't say he was here. Oh, let me look real quick. Tolarian Terror. Tolarian Terror, pulled up on Gather, sets legality. Pioneer legal, there he is. Yep, he's in here. I thought so, because I was like, I'm pretty sure Dominaria. All right, they scoop. All right, let's talk about the deck. Uh, first and foremost, um, this doesn't need blue. This could just be red-green. Um, <clears throat> the mana base feels weird. Ugh, in my opinion, the mana base feels weird. I think we ended, like, what, 2-2 two and two overall? Game history. Yeah, two and two. Um, I think the mana base doesn't feel the best. This is a format I don't think I want to go three colors in. Obviously, you can. We've seen them. But I don't think I want to. Um, but outside of that, Knuckle Blade is still one of my favorite cards ever printed. Hold on. I'm trying to get this pulled up. Uh... Give me this. All right, there we go. Knuckle Blade is still like one of my favorite cards ever printed. It, I just want it to be better than it is. 
Um, hate when YouTube auto. Yeah, that's dumb. 144p. What is this? 2011. Watching on 2007. Watch on your Motorola Razor. Um, Savage Knuckle Blade is still like one of my favorite cards ever printed. I just don't think it's super great in this. Obviously, it'd be good in certain things, but what we're doing right now, not been super impressed with Knuckle Blade. I like the card a lot. It's still like one of my favorite cards ever printed, but uh, it, it lives in <laughs> it lives in uh, probably a commander deck. Um, Tamir Ascendancy just felt super underwhelming. I like the idea of this. All of our creatures get haste. We get to draw a bunch of cards. It just never felt good. The thing is, like, I just felt like if we weren't turn threeing one of these dorks instead of like this, I just felt like we were too slow. Um, it just didn't feel like it was strong enough. Maybe as like a two of, but like as a four of, I'm not a fan of Tamir Ascendancy. Uh, it, it's powerful, I guess, but just felt really underwhelming. Uh, not where I think I wanted to be. Questing Beast is really good. I think we can go up on Questing Beast. Glorybringer is great. Uh, Elder Gargaroth is really cool. Carnage Tyrant was okay at best. Nux isn't playable in Commander. Eh, maybe if you play casually. You know, <laughs> if you just play like a little spiced up pre built, maybe. Uh, Carnage Tyrant just felt meh. Stubborn Denial was cool. Um, definitely works with some of the cards we got. Don't think it's worth going into three color. I think you could just do a, a like a gruel version of this deck and be better off. We were running 10 mana dorks, which felt bad. Um, I th don't think you want to be more than eight. The Karyad's nice, Defender and Hexproof, but yeah, don't know. Um, sideboard wise, I did like Decisive Denial. I thought that was a cool card. <clears throat> did enjoy it. Um, does a lot of things. Seems pretty good. Uh, as for the deck itself, yeah, just kind of a little bit underwhelming. Um, Knuckle Blade is, like I said, one of my favorite cards. Just didn't feel super, super good. I mean, like in Empire Level 3. True. Um, just didn't feel like super, duper good because, I don't know, the mana base feels weird. I don't know how I feel about this mana base. Maybe if you had fetch lands in this format, it'd be better. But without fetch lands, you don't know. Like I said, Tamir Ascendancy was not a big fan of. The rest of the deck, I like. But it is what it is. Uh, thank you, Bull, for suggesting this. If you want to check out Commander Crane, maybe he has better gameplay than uh, I'm doing. But <clears throat> you can check out his stuff. Link in the description. Got to go. Looking forward to playing some more 8-rack. 8-tack. Uh, tack <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Uh, have have fun. Feel, uh, <clears throat> have a good rest of your day. I'll be playing some 8-rack some point next week. I want to play Trey Natilli's version really bad, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, second foyer into modern. This is a little bit, I mean, Pioneer. This is a little bit more of my play style, but was a little underwhelmed. I'm going to, real quick before we leave, technically you could run one to two River Tears Outlook to fetch for basics. True. Uh, I'm going to look at Goldfish real quick. Let's look at the... Let's look at the Pioneer uh, Frontier here. What decks maybe call, you know, my attention. I think Fable Patch is legal. I think it is too. The Nykthos Ramp deck is kind of cool, but I don't want to play it. Uh, Aurorius Spirits. Okay. I like some Spirits. Spirit cards are cool. Spell Color is really cool. I could look into Spirits. I kind of like Spirits. Spirits are kind of cool. They're like a cooler version of Fairies. We have Rakdos Sacrifice, which... I mean, cool. But don't know how well <laughs> I'm going to run this. I'd have to look up some gameplay footage of it. Rakdos mid-range. Uh, this looks like the deck we played earlier. Although they were in Grixis, weren't they? Probably something a little bit closer to what I would be wanting to do, more than likely. So I could definitely give this one a shot uh, at some point. Can help you run Rakdos sack. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Um... Mono White Humans, obviously, is something I would be very interested in. I like human decks. 
white weenies a really really fun deck so would definitely be interested in this um grease fang i like the idea of grease fang but i didn't like how it played very well i want to see is it phoenix all right what's going on with here it, oh it's thing in the ice and arc light phoenix okay uh not my cup of tea but i could see it being what is this thing okay <laughs> just time walk i could see it being interesting one of my favorite decks right on Domino Creativity, not a fan of. There's Gruel Midrange. Let's see what they got going on here. Elvish Land of War, Scavenger News. This is basically... <laughs> this is basically the, my, my pre-build I played. Being a combat target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and haste in a turn, day bound. At beginning of combat, your turn. Okay. And then Valderan Thrillseeker. Backup when this card... will put two plus one, plus one counters. Sacrifice this creature. Deals damage equal to the power of any target. I mean, that seems pretty good, right? Where's the acid moss? <laughs> uh, you got the chariot. Harkon War. Okay, this seems cool. And it only went 4-3, but this seems interesting. So, yeah, we got some ideas. Probably... Mono Red Aggro. Lotus. Lotus to the, <laughs> Lotus to the front of the... <laughs> White Lotus to the front desk, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be interested in this. Well, that's funny. Den of the uh, Bugbears back down in price. I sold off my two copies for like eighty some dollars. Fires of uh, Fires of Invention could be fun. I didn't see that. Boris Convoke. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so I'm definitely interested in Azorius Spirits, Rakdos Midrange, um, maybe Rakdos Sack, and M Gruel Midrange and Mono Red Aggro. Those are the and Mono White Humans. I'll probably next week what I'm planning on doing. Uh, this is different than your usual Red Aggro. Yeah, right. It's pretty interesting. I mean, you got the red creatures going in, but then you got like play with fire and stuff near the bottom five color oh fires of invention there it is I see what you're saying <laughs> just playing like a one of everything uh fires of invention four drop you can cast Spells during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells your turn. You may cast spells with converted mana costs equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana cost. Yikes. Okay. But yeah, so next week I'm going to play my Challenger deck on stream when I play Pioneer, and then maybe we'll spice it up and see how we feel. Why not why human sounds like a deck? Harold McNeil, Invoke Prejudiced Artist would play. Hmm, never heard of them. Uh, it sounds like a deck I would play too. So <clears throat> we uh we'll we'll journey even further into Pioneer next week. Like I said, I'm gonna play my Challenger deck, and then we're gonna spice it up as we go, make some changes. I'll play one game pre-built, and then after that, I will make some changes to it, and we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's uh that's all for today. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you want to support the channel, you can consider becoming a member if you haven't already. Memberships are 99 cents a month or a dollar a month. Get you access to the community Discord server along with custom emotes. Your name at the beginning and end of stream you'll see here in a second. Uh, and all that fun stuff. Badge next to your name and everything. For only a buck a month or 99 cents. Uh, also supports me a lot. You can also just like, subscribe, share, and comment on the content. That goes a long way. You can also check out my movie channel, link in the description, and my Twitch, link in the description for all that as well. And for everybody else, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll dive more into Pioneer as we go on uh, once a week on Wednesdays. Tomorrow, we're playing Mirkwood Bats with Moist Moose in the Discord call. Uh, so we'll have his play lines and uh, some of his thoughts as we go. And yeah, so... Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.